Bonnie Sanders' life changed on October 30th. She was hit by a car on her way to school, and she was in a coma for two weeks. Some people thought she wouldn't make it, but she did. And tonight, she is welcoming the new year with her family and not in the hospital. Local 12's Brad Underwood joins us now from Bond Hill with her remarkable recovery. Brad. Well, good evening, Cami, and that's, that's a great word to describe uh, the last two months here for 15-year-old Kimani, and as a result of all of the therapy and all the rehabilitation that she's been going through at Children's Hospital, you know, she slowly had to relearn everything from using her arms and legs to walking, and just uh, in the last 10, 11 days, her speech is finally starting to come back, and for the next 24 hours, for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, she's going to be able to be with her family, not in the hospital, but at home after they leave tonight's church service because they came here from the hospital. Uh, you know, on this New Year's Eve, impressing everyone who knows her and everyone around her uh, at church this evening, walking into the church with some help from a walker. Uh, the family says, you know, they've relied on their faith throughout this uh, entire process, the past couple of months, not only for them, but for Kimani during the recovery process. And back on October 30th, Sanders was crossing North Bend Road uh, attempting to catch a Metro bus for school and that's when she was hit by another car driven by a teenager also on the way to school. Sanders was rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries and while many of those injuries have healed, she still has uh, a broken ankle. Just hanging out. We don't get that a lot, so just hanging out. Thank you for the support, it really means a lot to me. And you could hear there her voice, uh, her family telling us it gets a little stronger, it gets a little better each day, starting to sound more like herself uh, before that accident. And then another milestone, it seems like there's just so much to talk about in the recovery process for her. The feeding tube was removed today. She can eat real food. and. First thing on the list, Cammie, mom's cooking lasagna tomorrow on New Year's Day for her and the rest of the family. That was her pick. Uh, that would have been my pick, too. That sounds great. I'm sure she'll enjoy it. And what a strong little girl. We wish her the best. Thank you, Brad. Kimani is expected to get out of the hospital for good sometime next month, and she could be back to school in February.